Hey everyone, we are going to be cleaning and cooking these two ribbon fish here. Never done this before, so I'm winging it. Definitely one of the weirdest looking fishes, if not the weirdest looking fish I've ever come across. Look at those teeth on that thing. Um, but apparently people do eat them. Uh, they're very popular in Asia, some other countries. So we're gonna try it and we'll let you know how it is. So on this uh, larger ribbon fish here, I am actually going to attempt to get some fillets off of it. So, should be good. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut right in here. Okay. Alright. Getting a very small amount, but okay. No idea what I'm doing. Okay. So we got these two fillets right here. There is some bone in it. Um, the way I've been seeing people do it is just cooking it with the bone. So I think I'm gonna just leave it, take my chances with it. Next, with the smaller one, all I'm gonna do is cut it into chunks. Easier based on the YouTube videos I've watched. And it looks like they kind of just look at that. Kind of just cut this top off. So on these chunks I just caught, I'm gonna cut some little incisions in the skin here. And I'm just gonna salt them and let them sit in the fridge for a little bit and that's supposed to make them crispy when you fry them. Got these all scored, just gonna rinse them off. Now that I got these all rinsed off, scored off, I'm gonna get some Himalayan pink salt here. Just kinda salt them. Now I'm just gonna put these in a Ziploc bag and refrigerate them until it's time to cook them. Alright, we got our ribbon fish fillets all cut up. I'm gonna throw some butter in the skillet, let that heat up on medium heat. The way that I've decided to do this is I'm just gonna heat up some butter. First some soy sauce in the skillet. A little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna see how fry it in that, see how it tastes. Don't need to salt it, soy sauce has enough salt. Oh yeah, it smells really good. Starting to sizzle. So I'm gonna put these in. It's probably only gonna take a few seconds to cook. Oh yeah, look at that, I already cooked them. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Gonna start shriveling up. Oh yeah, it smells super good. Just flipping these here. I want them to actually cook on the meat side more than the skin side because that skin's shriveling up and it's gonna make it a little harder to cook the whole filet. No time for the moment of truth. This is the weirdest looking fish. Tastes good.
It's actually delicious. There are bones in there. I did swallow some bones. So you might want to listen to the people who are telling you to take the bones out. But taste-wise, I mean, that's... Yeah, little bones. You can see that. Tiny little bone. But they, uh, they did cook out a little bit. I'm going to try it with some honey. Mmm. Very good. Is it on? Yeah. You yeah, the crop. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Been marinating the salt in the fridge for a few hours. Alright, 45 seconds to a minute on each side. So flip it. Time to pull it off. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. Pretty good. You try some. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah. Mm, That's a soy sauce for me. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that. There's all that. There's all that bones in there. I've just been like kind of scraping it off the side. You know what I mean? Scrape it. Scale one through ten. One through ten. Ten? Yeah. That's good. Are you lying? <laughs> That's good. I like it. It's a soy sauce. All right. 